is also bringing you team coverage of today's congressional races with reaction from both the Democrats and Republican parties. Two News reporters Devro Bogart and Ethan Fitzgerald standing by with the latest. We start with Devro at Dublin Pub in the Oregon District. That's right. There are a lot of tight races going on tonight. And as you can hear, some hopeful, can some hopeful supporters for the candidates here like we have for incumbent Congressman Mike Turner here. Now, you have been in this position for 16 years, but we were saying this is an historic midterm election. What do you think brought people to the polls this year? Well, it's great. This is a great day for democracy. People have been get, coming out to vote in droves across the country. I think people know that this is an important time uh, for our country, certainly as they look to improve economy. They also looked at my record for Wright Patterson Air Force Base, my promise to seniors on Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, and creating jobs. I think those are important issues as we talk to voters today. Okay, and we were saying issue one, the Associated Press has called it as a, that it has failed. What is going to be done now since that was a nonpartisan issue for rehabilitation services? Well, it wasn't just that. I mean, it, 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 there are a lot of, of um, uh, special interests that want to advance drug agendas that I think it's important for our families that we reject. It was important that we rejected this. Uh, what we're doing, I think, is looking on the federal level for increased funding for treatment and prevention. We need to look at our community, how we can intervene, find those individuals who are having Having opioid uh, problems and making certain that they get the treatment they need. Okay, and right now polling in at 54 percent. Thoughts on the rest of the night? Well, I think you always have to wait till the end, but we're certainly looking at the results as they're coming in. They look positive. All right. Well, thank you so much, Congressman. And again, we will be here until the results continue to trickle in. Reporting live at Dublin Pub.